Hey there, Lincoln Riffers! Welcome back to another awesome finger style lesson here on Lincoln Riff, in which I want to answer once and for all the number one question that I get from uh, people around the world. You keep asking me how to raise the volume of your finger picking, and um, I've encountered I've encountered this question uh, even before Lincoln Riff, even when I used to teach uh, one-on-one -on -one private lessons. And the confusion arises from trying to raise the volume by playing harder and by pulling the strings harder. And that only results in twangs. And this is not the sound you're going for. And um, most of the time you hear finger pickers play in low volume and then suddenly you have this twang, this, this pulling on the string that, that doesn't belong there. Um, and this can get frustrating and I want to answer this question once and for all. How to play fingerstyle in a higher volume? How to raise your volume, okay? Your, your, the volume of your, your finger picking. Um, it's all about dynamics and the answer is do what you're doing already only faster and more directional. Okay, I'm not trying to give you a vague answer. This is really the answer. Um, when you play finger style, okay, and you get low volume, what you're doing basically is you're brushing the string. You're just brushing the string. Brush it faster and you get a, a stronger sound, okay? Brush it faster, okay? You take the finger outside, okay? Away from the guitar, okay? Anyway, but if you do it, okay? If you do it in a low volume, all you need to do is to intensify your brushing and you will intensify the sound, okay? It's something that you need to feel, okay? But it's not attacking the string. You need to do exactly what you're doing right now, but just do it in a more directional way. You need to brush it a little bit faster, just and give it just a slightly outward angle. Right? It's, it's really difficult to explain and it won't really do anything to film it, okay? Because I, I, I will, it wouldn't do anything because the movement is so fast. It wouldn't do anything, it would look exactly the same. If I use one finger, and I play low, or I play strong, it looks exactly the same. Even if I slow it down and use a high-speed camera or something, I'm pretty sure that it would look almost exactly the same because the change in angle and the change in brushing speed is so, so, so minuscule. It's such a minute change, you need to feel it but that's what you want to seek, okay? This is the feeling that you want to get in your finger. You want to get a more directional sound, okay? You brush the string just a little bit more, okay? Instead of touching it for, let's just say, for hypothetical purposes, you touch it for 0 0.02 milliseconds, you want to brush the string for 0 0.05 milliseconds, just a little bit more. And instead of going at this angle, you want to go at this angle. It's really difficult to explain. It's, it's, um, it's like having an itch somewhere and just, you know, touching it or scratching it off. Okay, it's, it's the, that difference. You don't want to injure yourself. You don't want to scratch off your skin and, and, and you don't want to, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Right? so it's the same. Okay, so if you can do this, raising the volume is just a matter of intention. It's not a matter of changing anything. You're doing it right. You're doing everything right. You just need to brush it a little bit more. Brush the string a little faster. Just a little. 
brush the string a little bit with a little bit more intensity. That's it. You don't want to you don't want to change your finger position. You don't want to get behind the string and pull it out. That's not the way to do it. You just want to do what you're already doing and just have a little bit more connection with the string. That's all. You just want to prolong your connection with the string, you, the, the connection between your finger and the string. I hope this answers your question uh, because it's such a small, small, small difference. It's, it's such a, it's, it's undetectable other than by feeling it. So I hope I explained it well, okay? Because explaining music in words is a little bit of a futile endeavor, but there's no other way to do it. Uh, so let me know how it goes. If this video didn't work well for you, then I'll, I'll try again. I'll think of better ways, but I think that I've answered your question. At least I've tried. So thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much. Bye for now.